Hola. Hey, today we're going to Valde Torres. It's about three kilometers away and we're going there for lunch. We have 2.30 reservations at a little American Ribs restaurant. So it's gonna be a good day for a walk. Finally, no wind, plenty of sun. Hola. See the geese over there? A lot of these fields have been freshly turned over. And this soil is really interesting because once it hardens, it's a rock. They tend to grow a lot of grains in these fields. There's our house right there. And beyond Val de Torres are these snow-capped mountains in the Sierra Madrid. Right over there is a nice old farm, Casa Grande. And the owner, I think at one time, probably owned that factory right there, which was probably uh, some sort of uh, industrial complex for harvesting sheep or something like that. Deer. And they're watching us. Considering there's very little forest nearby, I would imagine that they live in the Arroyo areas where there's water and shade and trees and food. Here's the town cemetery. And a nice little plaza that provides water. That's nice. Very large parcel with a beautiful house on it right over there. That is a big yard. We wanted to avoid having a big yard only because it takes too much effort to take care of it. Big gates. So here in the outskirts are some nice large pieces of property with uh, large houses on them. Very quiet. These utility poles are really typical for Spain. They don't go out of their way to hide ugly. And here's a wide open plot with a bathtub. So like so many towns, this was an agricultural town to begin with, focusing mostly on grains. And down here, as we get deeper into the valley, there's the Harama River. It's all uh, Castro turf. Easy care green. Hey, bienvenido a Val de Torres de Harama. That's a nice welcoming sign. Mantas. Huh. I'm not sure what the significance is of the wrapped trees. These row houses across the street are very old. Yep. The house at the very end may or may not be lived in, but man, is that historically old. Someone's building a stone wall. There's the church. The Iglesias. And the storks are back. Here's the central square. We tried to make reservations at the Asador, but they were completely booked inside and out. And this iglesia is extremely interesting. This doorway mantle has been carefully preserved.
Asador, not there. So we're passing on the Asador today and heading to American Ribs, which you hear is pretty good, has a lot of good reviews. You don't see much of this mud and stone construction left. But it's very important that it remains preserved. Oh, here's a Canatria. Canatria is the uh, meat store. And I hear music. I think we're getting closer. Let's check it out. That is a serious looking burger. That was a good meal. Balde Torres is hopping today. There's a lot going on, especially around this one bar that appears to have some entertainment. Any bar that has entertainment is worthwhile stopping at. So that's about it from here. I hope you enjoyed our little walk to Valde Torres and you'll come back for more. Take care of yourself and we'll see you soon. Hasta luego. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did we get it wrong? What? This is you. Well, come here. Wait, wait, wait. That's the pizza. Okay. All right. No, every letter.